This is Eric Rico Scarcella down here on the field after a thrilling fight and fills 5-4 win over the Portland Sea Dogs. And I'm here with the man who made it happen, Roman Quinn. Roman, you had a walk-off RBI single right there at the end of the night. How exciting is it to end the weekend on such a high note? Uh, it's very exciting, man. We, uh, we fought back, man, uh, the last couple of innings. Uh, we pitched good, and uh, I, was, I was fortunately to get a, to get a hit. You were telling me a little bit beforehand, you said, you said was that a hit? Was, I wasn't sure they scored it. Uh, it had to be good for you, too, today, kind of uh, ending the, the day on such a nice little note. It's definitely a good, a good, a good way to end my day, man. I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling pretty good, man. I'm glad we got the W. Now, a little bit yesterday, I know we had a little bit of snow yesterday. It's a little bit cool. Are you ready for warmer temperatures to heat up here uh, as the season goes on? I'm definitely ready for uh, warmer temperatures, man, because uh, this cold weather is no joke, man. It was, uh, it was 30-something degrees yesterday and windy, and it was, uh, it was horrible. Now, one last question. Uh, Ricardo Pinto on the mound, his double-A debut, pitched pretty well. Uh, talk a little bit about his start. Uh, he kept the ball down well, man, and uh, he, he's a really good pitcher, man. He spots up uh, both sides of his play and got a real good changeup. Well, there you have it, our Railroad House player of the game, Roman Quinn. Roman and the Fighting Phils win 5-4. They'll be back on Monday night at 6.35 p.m. against the Richmond Flags Girls. We'll send it back to our TV. Take it away, baseball town.